So in this video, I wanted to talk briefly about what to do when your fountain pen dries out. This is something I get asked about a lot and I figured just do a quick video on it. It's not gonna be for everyone, but it should be helpful for some people. Uh, so here's a fountain pen I haven't used in a few months, I kind of fell behind a desk or something and I found it and it will not write. Had some ink in it and that ink has dried out. Basically what happens is, is that the ink in a cartridge or a converter, any ink, is primarily water. So even if you're not using the pen, and even if the cap is sealed, some air will get in, some air will get out, some water will evaporate. And over time, the water inside your ink will evaporate, and you'll get left with the little bits of dye or pigment or whatever is in there. And that's what we have here. There'll also be ink in here, and that is particularly difficult to get out from the feed because the whole job of a feed is to hold on to ink and other things. So uh, what do you do if you don't want to throw the pen out? Uh, basically, the first thing to do is to take it apart. You want to take the cartridge out in this case. It will have some like ink dust, basically dye that you don't need. And then here's the main part we're concerned about. It'll be different depending on the pen you have. This is a Platinum Plessier, which is the same pen as a Preppy, but it doesn't really matter so much. So the first thing we want to do is give it a soak. So this is warm water, and we're going to put it right in here in the warm water for about 24 hours, give or take. And now you could wash it first and run it under some cool or warm water, depending on how sensitive you want to be. Uh, don't use hot water. But basically what you want to do is really soak it at first. And you can see what's happening is that dye is starting to dissolve and kind of naturally gravity is just pulling it out. You could also run the, uh, run the feed through a tap or push a bulb or something through it, but that is not gonna be as helpful at first because everything in there is dried out. Uh, so basically what you're gonna do is give it 24 hours, let it soak. Okay, so it's 24 or so hours later and you can see that the water is quite dark. Even though the pen, none of the ink inside was wet, the sort of ink sort of rehydrated and it becomes fully dark, even without any sort of swirling or anything like that. So what we're gonna do at this point is uh, pour this out. And just keep in mind, I'm just sort of approximating what you're gonna do because you would presumably be doing this at a sink instead of on a desk. It's just hard to do a video at a sink. So let's get that refill, uh, sorry, the grip and the section out there and it's looking much nicer. Still, you know, it's not like perfect, but it's much nicer. And here's the water. It almost looks like ink, even though it's, if you were to try to write with it, you could see it's quite watery. And what you can do at this point is, uh, most of the work is honestly done, but what's nice that you could do to help speed the process along, instead of just drying it out now and write with it, is you can flush some water through the grip section. I have this bulb here, I put some water in it, and this is just like, uh, it's like a kid's ear bulb or something like that, I'm not really sure, but they sell them online, and we're gonna just push some water through this. Again, much easier to do at a sink, but you wanna get some warm water, push it through, and this is gonna be very easy with some fountain pens and more difficult with others based on the size of the hole right here. You know, if that is larger, then the tip of this will be able to go right in and fit in, and you could really push a little bit harder with no kind of water squirting out. You don't wanna push too hard, just like you wanna be careful because the fountain pen wasn't designed to have like a huge amount of pressure going through all here. You probably won't hurt it, especially with a $3 pen like this Preppy or this Placier. You don't have to worry about it too much, but that's basically the process. 
and a good sign is when the water running through is clear, like it is now. We'll just give it a good. So that water is running through, it's clear. And that means we're getting to where we want to be. So let's see the state we're at. This thing looks pretty clear. Water up here, that's just sort of overflow is clear. And then if we were to get this and rub it, water is definitely gonna come out, right? Because right now what we're doing when we put this nib against something absorbent is we're basically pulling water out of the feed and a little channel in here. We're basically accelerating the process of pulling this water out. But when we do this, this water you can see has a very slight color to it, but really not much. So that means our job is more or less done. If you're a perfectionist, you could do another soak or you could use some sort of cleaning material or something like that, but there's honestly no need. So now you wanna give this thing a good shake. Again, just do it at a sink. It'll save you a lot of trouble. Uh, you wanna get all the, any water sitting up here, you just wanna get out of there. That'll sit, if you let it sit for like 24 hours, it will still collect in here, it's just in a little puddle. So that just shake out. Any water here, you basically wanna rub off, being very careful with the nib. And then a good thing to do is to just put this upright and let it sit for a couple hours. Uh, again, when you do that 24 hour soak, that's really only necessary when a pen is really badly dried. Usually if you're just cleaning out a pen periodically, you could let it sit for like half hour and that's completely fine and then let it dry overnight. Basically what you're gonna do on your process like that is you get a little cup like this, you put some paper towel in it, you should use a clean dry paper towel and just let your nib or your feed section just sit like that. It will dry really nicely. Uh, we won't do that in this video, we'll just sort of approximate that. What you could also do ahead of properly drying is you could get your tube, your little uh, bulb, make sure there's no water in it, and we'll set this up. You could push some air through here. This is basically just going to accelerate the drying process. This won't get it completely dry, but it'll get a little bit more air out of there. What you don't want to do is push the air out and then suck it back in. So you want to push it, pull it, because if you just suck it back in, it will get pulled back into the feed. So now you can see how we're moving the process along. It looks like it's basically drying out in there and this has gone from looking wet to looking like just condensation. And that's in you know the three or four minutes that we've been actively working on this. Again, this is not supposed to be an active process. It's supposed to just be a like, let it wait and give it some time. If you have seen just in the past second or two when I give this a push, it actually looks pretty blue. So you might be thinking like, man, I really did not clean that out and they're still coming out blue even though I did all this waiting. That's just because the feed inside is going to trap a lot of water. And this still will continue to drip even though, even as I'm holding it now after a big shake, it's still dripping. That's just, again, which this thing's literally designed to hold the liquid. So it's going to give it up slowly over time, which is what we're experiencing and why really the best thing you could do with a process like this is wait. You could accelerate it with a bulb, both on the cleaning and the drying side, but really, the easiest thing to do is just wait. Uh, right now, this is a fully functional, cleaned out, ready to go nib. What I will say is that a little bit of water in here as you start to write is completely fine. You know, your first maybe five or 10 minutes of writing, your ink will be a little bit lighter, uh, but as long as you're not writing, uh, you know, uh, very important documents right then and there, it's completely fine. You know, start your art project or your manuscript a minute later and you'll be fine. Uh, the other thing is that using a method like this of a quick cleaning, 
there might be some color left in here. And all you wanna do in that case is just like accept it and your black will bleed into your blue if you're going from blue to black. If you're going from black to blue, sorry, if you're going from black to blue, your black will bleed into your blue a little bit. If you're going from blue to black, you probably won't even notice it. So that is basically how you clean out a very dried out fountain pen. This thing's basically ready to go. You just put a cartridge in here and it actually will start very quickly once we have a little bit of water. But what I'm gonna do is give it an hour or two and just let it dry out on its own. That's it, thanks for watching.